Okay, Jackie, time for a quick history lesson. Buddhism was founded by Siddhartha Gautama. I don't even know if that's the right pronunciation. Just go with it. Siddhartha led an extraordinary life. But for our purposes, his death is what's important. History says Siddhartha announced his imminent death at the age of 80. Immediately after making this announcement, he ate his last meal. It was an offering made by a blacksmith. Siddhartha then became ill and died. Obviously, there was more to it, but I'm not here to teach religion 101. Those are the main points. Before dying, Siddhartha made sure his followers knew that the blacksmith had nothing to do with his death. Because, from all accounts, Siddhartha was a pretty stand-up guy. Unfortunately, he was way off on this one. The blacksmith totally poisoned him. And that's not all. He also gave Siddhartha water from his pitcher. This pitcher. As you can guess, this is no normal pitcher. This pitcher works like a soul pump. Drinking out of it creates a mystical vacuum inside the jar. Stop drinking, and your soul is whooshed into the clay, where it remains until the magic is broken. The magic on this relic is unbelievably strong. It's held for over 2,000 years. And that's why this relic has earned the name Siddhartha's Tears. Because Siddhartha is still trapped inside. <laughs> Who do such a thing to such a nice guy like Siddhartha? I think you already know. The darkness is the enemy of peace and unity. It's Wrath is not always violent, but it is cold and unyielding, just like Siddhartha's tears or the Red Sox.